Good evening. I am so humbled and so honored to be in the company of great women, of the movement of social change in this country and in this state. I am from labor, but there are women from business, from not-for-profit, from public service, and it is not only women that can make the social change that this country so desperately needs, but if you look back in history, you will see, gentlemen, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend, that women have been on the forefront of social change in this country. And there is a desperate cry right now for social change. And so I am so happy to be one that has been called to help with this movement. My family always instilled in me the fact that we were put here to leave this earth better than we found it. And I know that I am in the company of other women and other men that are gonna move this country and move this state to where we need to be to make sure that we are doing what we need to do to educate our children, to make sure that immigrants in this country are treated the way they should be and valued as an economic driver of our country, and to make sure that we are embracing the fact that we need to revamp our immigration laws and that we need to understand that people that are not right now recognized as U.S. citizens or right now are not put on the path to U.S. citizenry should be, that they are an economic driving force of the economy of New York State and this country, and we in this room can make a difference to make sure that that happens in New York State government and in this country. So right now we are in the midst of the budget decisions that are being made. And whether you are from the business sector, or the public sector, or the labor sector, you know right now that there are things that need to be done to make sure that all of our children can be put to work, that all of the people looking for a job can find that job, that all of the people that for whatever happened to them, through fault of their own or through no fault of their own, have been struggling to try to find their place in this society, that this budget can help make that happen. So we in this room really are the power brokers of that. We in this room can make that happen. So I embrace that challenge, and I ask you all to embrace that challenge. I want to thank you again for this honor, and I want to let you know that I will work as hard as I have every day that I have been elected to this office as the president of the Public Employees Federation to make sure that labor is a part of the solution to what we need in this state and what we need in this country. Thank you all so much.